G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we are going to take a look at the new 64-bit zip support in Delphi 11. So I'll just start with a new VCL application and we'll throw a button on the form. And we'll of course need to use system.zip. And so if we go tzip file dot zip directory contents and we need a zip file name something like this and we also need a path so um slid up We've got win dis D, win dir stat or window stat loaded up here and i found a reasonable reasonably large file which is a vm for libre NMS. So I will just uh, in fact, copy path and paste that in there. And actually, we'll just digress a little bit as well. Um, throw system diagnostics in there and we'll get a new stopwatch. Right. Let's start new. And message. Start. Lap start. Second stop. Two spring plus. Something along those lines. So we'll, we'll time our uh, uh, how long it takes. So we will run that without debugging and click begin or button one at least uh, so if we have a look at my task manager uh, we should see it looks like executing on uh, my cpu2 and um yeah it's maxing out it's, it's only uh, single threaded so yeah we can only take advantage of a, a small uh, portion of my cpu and uh from e so we can see that it's transferring 20 between 30 megabytes a second something along those lines um and it's still busy so while it's doing that we'll have a look in beyond compare and i have here here's the delphi 11 version of system.zip and here's delphi 10.4 so if we start scrolling down we'll see that we've got a zip 64 uh, header edit so it's a file header and the central header 64 bit central header and um and so on uh oh extra header that's new as well it's cool um and yes yeah, a bunch of extra methods on that but also scroll down a bit further uh delete which was missing previously as well, which is quite nice. And there's also uh, a few other little niceties in that you can take a file and get the um, index of that file within the zip file. So from the file name, which is uh, uh, quite quite handy. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I haven't actually uh, used it. This is the first time I've actually compressed a file. And this is the implementation of, of those things uh, further down. So, uh, well, that's still going. So. I'll take a moment to do a bit of promotion. I have oops, a video on Embarcadero Academy on zip compression in Delphi. I've been procrastinating on this quite a lot, but uh, it's still early access at the moment for $15. And there's about three hours of content on there so far. I've got quite a bit more to do, but uh, covering most of most of zip file at, at the moment, but I've still got to do um, like zip streams and that, that sort of stuff uh, and a bit of discussion of Brevier and a few other bits and pieces. So, um, yep, that's all going. So uh, I also have a book, Code Faster in Delphi, which is available on my website. Uh, it's been getting pretty excellent reviews. Uh, it's quite short, it's only 160 pages, but it will make you significantly more productive uh, with using the Delphi IDE. And it's available on Lean, LeanPub and Amazon.com. So if you want the electronic or uh, physical copy. Oh, and uh, done in three seconds. 
I think something went wrong there. Anyhow, uh, it completed. So let's have a look at that zip file. And we can see that it has indeed compressed. And we can have a look and see that the file size is indeed six gigabytes thereabouts. So I think this is a massive improvement to the system.zip having 64 bit support because you know, zip files, I've, I've, I've hit, hit the uh, four gigabyte limit in a few projects. Um, one was just you know, creating in daily log files that were uh, uh, more than more. Than, I think I think it might have had a, it might be a two gigabyte limit on the actual file in some fashion. But anyway, so yeah, I'm not sure why that uh, didn't like didn't like that. But anyway, um, the other thing it does, doesn't support encryption, so zip passwords. So you've got two options. One is using a brevia, and the other other is um, uh, Uwe Rab has a blog post on where he um, hacks together um, zip, zip encryption, which I've not used in production. I had a bit of a play with it. it seemed to work. Uh, your, you know, <laughs> sort of, uh, it's no warranty, of course, on, on that code, but um, it seems to work. But anyway, I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for putting up with my <laughs> promotion of uh, my book and videos. Um, also, if, I mean, if you're really, uh, it's part of Megapack as well. So if you want all my commercial videos, um, they're currently in, in the Megapack. And there's this quite a selection of uh, content in there. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie. I will catch you in the next video.